I was sitting down the other day getting ready to play GTA Online and my son came in and asked what I was going to play. I told him and then almost immediately he replied, why do you always play GTA? My quick response was, well, I guess I enjoy it. Probably not completely satisfied with the answer, he walked away. But after he left, I sat there for a moment and thought, that's a great question. Why do I play GTA? I mean, the obvious answer is it's fun and I enjoy playing the game, but it's got to be more than that, right? I mean, for all of us, what is it that has us coming back to this game over and over again? Now, I'm not trying to wax philosophical here and have a lengthy discussion on the meaning of life, but I'm just curious as to why, in general, do people play and continue to play GTA? I mean, let's be honest here, folks. This game is 10 years old. Can you think of any other game you're playing right now that's 10 years old? I'm guessing there's not many. So, here it is. A very simple and honest question to everyone out there who plays this game. Why do you play GTA? I'm going to wait till the end of this video to give you my well thought out and detailed explanation for why I play and continue to play this game, but first I want to touch on some very basic facts that make this question a lot more difficult than you may realize. Yeah, I'm first going to go over all the reasons why you shouldn't be playing this game. And first up, like I mentioned, this game is 10 years old. To put this in perspective, Uber, DoorDash, Zoom, and TikTok weren't even a thing yet. Breaking Bad was still putting out new episodes, and David Bowie and Prince, they were still making music. This game is old, and completely defies logic that so many people are still playing it. Also, the game itself, at least the online version, is completely broken. It's almost daily now that we're hearing of new bugs and glitches that we need to be aware of while playing this game. Even the mechanics in this game are outdated. The simple act of running out a door and down a flight of stairs can have you grinding your teeth in frustration. It's almost a given that with each and every fix Rockstar tries to make, there's an equal amount or more of glitches that are sure to follow. And let's not forget about Rockstar the company. This is an organization that consistently faces backlash from fans due to their corporate decisions and greed. Sure, it's all about the bottom line and profit when you're running a company, but Rockstar seems to go the extra mile when it comes to agitating its player base. They're always pushing shark cards and introducing new ways to make money from this game, i.e. GTA+, Plus, but then do absolutely nothing to actually fix this game and make it more enjoyable for the player. This game lacks consistent updates, new content is few and far between, and they completely ignore modders unless they're impacting the revenue. Now, I could go on and on here. There's literally hundreds of videos out there explaining, with great detail, I might add, specific reasons why people hate GTA, why they utterly despise Rockstar, and why they announce with unwavering conviction, I'm never playing this game again. But they do. And they will. And they'll play it a lot. To date, Rockstar has sold almost 200 million copies of this game. Last year alone, they sold over 15 million copies. So, yeah, this game is still popular and people are still playing it. Last week, Steam put out a little stat that reinforces this. In the month of January, last month, GTA Online was averaging over 120,000 players playing this game. Averaging. And that's just on PC. This game almost seems more popular now than when it came out. So I'll ask again, with all its fault and frustration, why do you play GTA? Same for them. Mm. Okay, so for me, it comes down to the game itself. In its most basic form, it's an open world game, which I love. It's semi-realistic, meaning it takes place in what we perceive as present day. In fact, most of the landmarks in GTA are derived from real-world locations. And there's a lot you can do in this game. I think most people forget about this. There's literally everything from auto racing to arm wrestling. There's a lot you can do in this game, and you can do it alone or with friends. But I think the biggest reason for me, and for why I play GTA, has to be the realism. I can start out at level 1 with absolutely nothing, and then choose whatever path I want to take to obtain whatever I want to purchase, all while making money by way of stealing a diamond on a faraway tropical island or accepting fares as a taxicab driver. It's a game that, for all its faults, mimics life itself. And for me, 
that's entertaining. All right, so that's it, my friends. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and want to help out, please subscribe, give a thumbs up, and here's your chance. Let me know what you think. I'm really curious to hear your answers to this question. With its many, many faults, why do you play and continue to play GTA? Hmm. As always, drop a comment below and let everyone know. Until next time, be happy, be well, be safe, and my TV, the one. Oh. Maestro!